Hey, what's up, Longhorns, and welcome to our very first episode of Major Theory. I'm your host, Kira Cleveland. I'm so excited to be doing our very first actual episode. Um, so for those of you who haven't listened to our introduction episode, I would definitely recommend going back and listening to that just because we kind of talk about how this podcast came about and a little bit more in depth about what um, we're going to cover in this podcast series. I know from personal experience that it can sometimes feel like there are only five like different majors um, to choose from and those are your only options because they have clear career paths. I want everyone to be educated on the options available to them so y'all can go into the career that makes you the happiest. So whether you're a high school student preparing to apply for college or a curious college student, it doesn't matter. This podcast is for everyone. So today for our first episode, we're going to be discussing advertising. Um, And I know advertising is kind of like a bigger major, um, but it's something I would have wanted to know a little bit more about whenever I was going into college. That's kind of why I decided to choose this one as our first one. So we're just going to start off with the basics. So what is advertising? Way up a website that kind of puts a bunch of information about careers and majors and everything like that. Um, They described advertising as a blend of creative fields like design with other subjects such as psychology. So basically you're trying to figure out how to make good advertisements that will appeal to your audience is how I understand it. Um, And also according to Way Up, that same website, someone with an advertising degree can get jobs in product management, web design, campaign management. So here at UT, um, we offer a bachelor's of science in advertising, as well as both a master's and a PhD um, advertising program. So our advertising programs are offered through the Moody College of Communications. And one really cool thing is that it's consistently ranked one of the best, if not the best, advertising program in the nation, which I think is so cool. You know, being at UT, we always say, oh, we're better than everyone else. But anyone in advertising can say, yeah, no, we're actually getting the best education in the nation, which I think is really, really cool. I just want to do a quick overview of the degree requirements or like the core curriculum, which of course is like English, government, American history, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Before I get into the degree requirements, I just want to let you know that we are going to put up links to everything on our Instagram and on our um, blog. So go and make sure that you check that out. So the degree requirements were the bachelor's of science in advertising. Um, so of course you just need the core curriculum, which is like English, government, American history. And then you have the major requirements. Um, and on the website, it said they need anywhere between 39 and 45 hours of major specific coursework. So a bunch of advertising classes, um, and you will need 12 hours of business courses, which have to include some marketing classes, which I like completely understand. I think that's actually really cool. Um, business scares me though, because calculus and calculus is just not my thing. Um, <laughs> And then the Moody requirements, um, so you have to take a foreign language, you have to have some other like communication courses, so you can't just take advertising courses, you have to take some like PR, communication, stuff like that, and then you need some more English and rhetoric. You can actually go onto the website once we post those links and get a full breakdown, but I just wanted to do a quick overview. So one really interesting thing about advertising here at UT is that you can choose one of two sequences to go into. And so the options are Texas Media and Analytics or Texas Creatives. First, we'll start with Texas Media and Analytics. This sequence is more about the planning and strategic side of advertising. Their website states that they focus on five core competencies or like areas of study. Um, So the first one's gonna be analytics and optimization. um, And that's how you can do better and measure how the brand is doing. And then we have account planning. So account planning is how to find and appeal to different consumers. So that's like, where are we gonna find our consumers? So are we gonna do television ads? Are we gonna do Instagram ads? Are we gonna do internet ads? And how can we make these stand out to them? And how can we kind of plan out what consumers we want? So let's just say you're a toy designer and you wanna do an advertisement for kids, like you want them to have like bright colors. The best way probably to get your name out there um, to kids, to have them be like, mom and dad, I want this thing is do a YouTube ad with like a bunch of different colors and have kids looking like they're gonna have fun. Cause I think YouTube is one of like the main ways you can appeal to kids nowadays. So content planning, so that's, it says planning what content goes out on what platforms and what content connects with what audience. So this is kind of like account planning, but content planning, it's like planning out if you want the Instagram ad to go first or if you want the YouTube ad to go out first, you have to kind of pick that out and what, which one's gonna better connect with the audience that you're trying to appeal to and then there's communication channel planning um so basically what they said was 
What social media should we be using to further the brand or company? And what is the best time to post to get the most views? I think everybody uses something like this um, in their everyday life, especially if they're really trying to keep up with their Instagram. I know whenever I have a really good post, sometimes I think, okay, if everybody, nobody's awake at 8 a.m., so I can't post it at 8 a.m. Everybody's out at 12 p.m. or 12 a.m., I guess. Um, so they're not going to like my picture. So when is going to be the best time? Oh, probably around five or six. People are getting off of classes. People are getting off of work. And that's when I'm going to get the most likes. So I do think about stuff like that. And I think it's kind of crazy that like today, like that is what we think about. And lastly, we have activation. So what are the most efficient and effective choices to be made and how to use data and keep brands safe? Basically, I understand this as like, what is the cheapest way we can get a really good advertisement out there? Or like what is the cheapest way we can reach our audience and what is the most effective way we can do those audience? And so it's kind of trying to find that balance, which I think is really, really cool. Then we have our second sequence, Texas Creatives. And this sequence focuses more on the execution of the actual idea itself and the creative process and how to use their skills in advertising campaigns. So here to tell us a little bit more about advertising is my friend, Kara Spam. Before we get into Texas Media and Analytics, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, your path to college, and why you chose to be an advertising major? Okay, so, well, my name is Karis. Um, I'm a third year, and like, Kira said, I'm an advertising major. I actually didn't choose advertising as my first choice. I wanted to be a Macomb snake, sorry. Um, but I didn't get into Macomb's. So I was an auto admit. And one of the choices that they let me choose from on the list was advertising. So I just chose it because it seemed like the most business like. And I could have like, transferred out back into business but I chose not to just because I really liked the intro classes I was taking and I liked how it was like business but like with a side of creativity so that's why I chose advertising yeah and I love like your story that was one of the main reasons why I kind of want to start this podcast wanted to start this podcast was because um I know it's hard for a lot of people to like realize that people change their majors all the time and like not getting accepted into your major the first time is like, oh, it's such a big deal. But yeah, I, feel sure. like, I feel like it always ends up working out in the end. And like, like now that I know you and like, even when I first met you, I was like, yeah, that girl, like, she's so creative. Like she knows exactly, oh gosh, what, she, she knows exactly what she needs to do. Like she is like the perfect advertising major. So I was like, <laughs> I have to choose Karen. <laughs> um, so before or as you got in, like, did you have any like preconceived notions about you about your major before you chose it? Are, are there like any misconceptions that you feel like are so wrong <laughs> about advertising? Well, obviously the biggest one is that like ads are just like waste of time. Like you just want to click through it. A lot of people have ad blocker. But like, for me, I feel like whenever I took my intro classes, and like all the classes I've had to take to work to get to where I am now, I've learned a lot about my passion for advertising. And I really like advertising just because it's a way for brands to connect with their consumers, like beyond just the transaction. So I think advertising like, is very important, especially in a time like now, like during COVID and stuff. And brands and companies are struggling. The only way people can know about your brand know how you're reacting to all this is like through ads through online so I feel like it's very important and even though it's a conception that like ads are annoying I think it's actually pretty necessary yeah and I know like for me like I've been watching a lot more like tv and I've seen so many ads about like stay at home by so many different brands. And I'm yeah. like, oh, look, like that brand cares. Like that brand like wants us to stay at home and like they're putting on TV ads and like little like Facebook sponsored ads. So I feel yeah. like advertising, like you're right, like it is so important right now. But speaking of COVID, how has COVID been for you? Well, for me, I like working from home because it saves me like an hour of driving in Austin traffic so I'm still working on my internship right now and they extended me to more hours and I'm getting paid so we love that um I like working from home just because I don't really have to go anywhere I just wake up I just come get, sit in front of my laptop and start doing work it's pretty nice yeah 
So tell us a little bit more about your internship. So like you're working remotely from Austin or from Houston or... So I moved back home to Houston because my parents wanted me to just be home in case like I did get sick or anything. And they wanted to me to be able to just like eat with the family, get groceries with them and stuff and not have to live by myself. Yeah. And my internship is at Steel Advertising. It's in Austin out in Westlake Hills, but they're allowing me to work from home. So I'm in Houston working for them still. Yeah. So what do you do at your internship? Like, tell us a little bit more about like how long you've been working there, how everything about that. So I started there last August and they extended me to the spring too. So I'm still there now. I'm an account services intern, but since I've been there for so long, they allow me to work on other projects and with other like department heads. So I have one supervisor, she's an account director and I started off with her, but now I'm working with another account director. So I just got more clients whenever I started working from home. And then I also work with the media buyer. So with the media buyer, I help make um, a social media content calendar. So I work with two different clients for that. We just make out the monthly content for each month. I help write the captions for it. I help make some stuff in Canva sometimes. And then with my account directors, I help them um, make schedules and stuff just to get projects running throughout the agency. Yeah. And how like, how is that fit in with your schoolwork? Because I know for me, like, trying to navigate like having a job or an internship with school literally sometimes makes you want to rip my hair out. So how has that experience been for you before COVID and then after? So before, I think it was definitely um, a lot harder in some aspects but also easier because before I didn't work as many hours I only worked 15 hours Mm -hmm. and I still I only worked like four hours a day and had Fridays off I don't have Friday classes so I had like three days of the weekend to catch up but now since I'm working more it's a little bit harder and I'm still just as tired as I am at school because now I'm working 30 hours a week Mm -hmm. and I have to manage my time wisely or else like It's like also hard to watch lectures because they're not always live. So I have to find motivation to do that. But I've been like, the only thing I can say is like, I feel like I'm starting to lose sleep now. I was sleeping for eight hours when when all this started. But now I'm like losing sleep more because I'm playing catch up with all the lectures that were pre-recorded. But I don't know. I'm also like saving more time by like not having to go to org meetings and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think that's another difference. But other than that, I don't know. It's been okay. It's kind of a big difference, but it's like manageable. Yeah, I, me and Vivian can both relate. Like we both started working 30 hours for a couple weeks. And yeah, it's hard. It was awful. And even now, like I'm so, I have not watched a single lecture for my comm class. And I'm just like, I have an exam in a couple weeks. And I'm just like, I'm just going (laughs) to wing it. Um, So let's talk a little bit more about Texas media. What is that? Like what drew you to that rather than Texas creatives and everything like that? Okay. So before you apply to get into a sequence, you have to take both of the intro classes. So media foundations and intro to creative. So whenever I took intro to creative, I remember we had this one project where it was making an idea journal and we had to come up with like 40 like new ideas, innovative ideas. And you had to draw it out in this little journal. Like it could be like a poem. It could be like, just like script it could be a drawing with color it could be anything and I just remember it was so hard for me just to come up with 40 so I was like I don't think I can do this for the rest of my life so I was like um I don't think creative is for me so then the semester after that I took media foundations and I really liked my group I had a good group and it was a lot of work at the time but I think we had a really good outcome and I learned a lot so I could see myself doing it for the rest of school, for the rest of my life. So that's why I applied for media. And basically media and analytics is like more of the business side of advertising with still some creativity. So we have to make like media plans and strategy. So we still have to make a cohesive deck that looks nice to present to our clients. So we still get to be creative in that aspect. And we still get to be creative in just in terms of the ideas of how to sell the brand. So that's what I really like about being in media versus 
in creative where you have to be more artistic and draw and it's just more intense in creative I feel like and I just really like all my professors in my sequence so I'm really glad that I did it yeah one thing that I really liked about as I was like researching advertising is that like they do have those sequences and Mm -hmm. I think it's so nice like that you guys have to take creative and then also media because you get a lot of people just like sign up for a major and they don't really understand what's going to happen. And so I feel like Moody like really cares about their students and that they want them to be prepared for like their field. And so I think that's awesome that like you you guys have to try it all out. And I just, uh, I wish I could have done that whenever I I was a freshman. (laughs) Um, So now just some, for some fun questions, like what's been your favorite advertising course or your most difficult Okay, um, I would say, well, my, my most favorite one would probably be psychology of advertising, just because I really liked my professors. She was very engaging, and she would always have, like, discussions in class, and I would say it's my, it was my favorite one because that's what made me want to stay in advertising as a freshman in the first place, mm-hmm. so I feel like it made an impact on my life and where I am now, and a lot of what we did in the class was watching ads and analyzing like how it makes you feel and like the tactics that the brands would use. So I thought that was very important. And um, my least favorite class, I wouldn't say it's my least because um, I didn't, I like, I learned a lot in it, but it was my least in terms of like how much sleep I lost. So like my first semester in the sequence, um, it was advanced media strategy. So it was like the intro class, but like, five times harder so we had to do we only had one project in the intro class but this class was three projects of the same extent so it was just like a lot and I'm really grateful for it because I got a lot I got a lot closer to my group and like people in the cohort but I just the only thing I didn't like about it is like I lost so much sleep no matter how much time I put it into it day by day even if I didn't procrastinate I would still just not be able to get sleep so that was like why I didn't like it (laughs) yeah I'm so glad you told that story because I feel like everyone's like as someone who wants to apply or who did has applied for Moody everyone's like oh comm majors don't do anything yeah I mean like a lot of people say that and like I'm not trying to bash like my sequence or anything but like it's a lot of hard work but I think in the end it obviously pays off I've learned a lot I've made a lot of close friends from it so it's not like it's a bad thing to not join like don't be scared to not join just because I said that but like just be prepared to put in a lot of work (laughs) yeah Well, thank you so much for being on our very first, like, full episode. I'm so excited, and I was so excited. Yay! said yes, Um, and best of luck to you, and y'all be sure to follow her on Instagram, and I'll leave all of her stuff in our Instagram. Thank you. Bye, Karis. Thank you.